We've got the Samsung Galaxy S21 latest leaks and news coming up, including the S21 Ultra's specifications, screen specs for the S21 and S21 Plus, Galaxy S21 Ultra design leaks, and even more incredible leaks when it comes to the Galaxy Fold 3 and the Z Flip 2. Also, thanks to Zen for sponsoring this video. In the chaos of online shopping, get some Zen in your life. So let's start with the absolute monster that is the S21 Ultra. And as we've heard previously, the phone will come with what should be the most specced out screen ever on a smartphone. That's really expected by Samsung, but this just again goes another step further. So apparently Samsung are increasing the contrast ratio of the screen 3 million to 1 as opposed to 2 million to 1 last year. Better colors, higher contrast, deeper blacks if that was ever possible. Plus, on the Ultra specifically, we're getting a 120Hz refresh rate display and a W Quad HD Plus resolution display, and they can be used together. That's something that the S20 Ultra last year couldn't do. Ice Universe coming out with this tweet with regards to the S21 Ultra though, saying that this phone may actually just set a bunch of new records when it comes to smartphone screens. Like I said at the beginning, that 3 million to 1 contrast ratio, that should be a record. The bezel size, thinnest, smallest bezels ever could be a record. We've also got 120Hz plus W Quad HD plus on this. This isn't actually a record. That spec has been performed by other phones, but in terms of general quality of this display, and of course, we know Samsung uses the absolute highest quality displays. So in general, the colors and also the reflectiveness racing from the displays could all be literally the best in the industry. That is an unexpected. Samsung make the best displays and of course they put the best in their Ultra phone. Also in the news when it comes to the S21 Ultra, we get these CAD designs. We can see the 3D renders and it shows that the bezels on the S21 Ultra could actually set a new record for smartphones, the smallest, thinnest bezels we've ever seen. It doesn't look like they're going to be symmetrical like we get in the iPhone, for example, but certainly way, way smaller. Especially the bottom bezel here, you can see it's virtually non-existent. I mean, it almost just curves into the chassis completely. What is also confirmed by these 3D CAD renders is the 2.5D curve. So left and right sides having a similar curve to what the S20 Ultra had. It isn't a flat display, it curved on those. Now we've heard that the S21 and S21 Plus will be having completely flat displays. There is some controversy about that though. We'll get onto that in a second. First though, thanks to Zen for being part of this video. Zen is a new suite of online financial services you can use with your smartphone. If you're buying products online that have cash back, it can sometimes take a few weeks for that cash to actually hit your account. If you use Zen, they'll deposit that cash in your Zen account in just a few minutes. If you're buying tech products online, you'll know that you only get a limited warranty. If you use Zen to pay, you'll get a full year extended warranty on top at no extra charge. And if anything goes wrong within the year, all you have to do is report that in the Zen app, upload your proof to the Zen app, and they'll take care of the rest for you. They also have something called Zen Care. So whenever anything goes bad with your transaction online, if you receive the faulty or broken product, for example, you can sort this out with Zen and they handle it faster with a higher success rate. There's also a 0% commission foreign exchange feature. If you're buying tech from abroad, which I often do, you'll see the amount you have to pay in your own currency with no extra charges at checkout. The same when withdrawing money from ATMs abroad, which I often do as well. You can find out more about Zen by following the link in the description below, get a 90 day free trial with them, set it up on your phone and you can use it with both Apple Pay and Google Pay as well. So coming on to the controversy this week about the S21 and S21 Plus with their screens. So we were told from leaks that they would have completely flat displays this time around. So not even a 2.5D curve, completely flat. There were then a flurry of tweets and a few leakers, very reputable sources saying, no, they actually believe that the S21 and Plus will be having those slight 2.5D curves. So that went against the information we heard already. Then Ice Universe coming out saying he is adamant basically that those phones will indeed have completely flat displays and no curves at all. The rumors are also that they will have incredibly symmetrical bezels, more like the iPhone. 
We will have to wait for more on this to get this confirmed, although Ice Universe has come out in a couple of different tweets saying it's absolutely certain that they will be completely flat displays. We even get some images today of some cases with some S21 phones inside, also confirming that that definitely is a flat display in there. In terms of Samsung information, I'd always lean towards Ice Universe, incredibly reputable, almost 100% strike record when it does come to Samsung leaks. He doesn't really post unless he knows for sure. So I would assume flat displays until we maybe see some concrete evidence to the contrary. We also get these metal dummies of the S21 and you can see there's no curve on here. And those dummies do also line up with the new camera designs that we've seen, plus the case renders today as well, all lining up to be what should be a flat display on those phones. Galaxy Fold 3 information is hotting up as well. This should be coming next year, maybe summer or autumn, but we already know some specs that Samsung are working on and the main spec of this phone is that the very small hole punch cutout that they use for the selfie camera on the inside of that phone will be disappearing under the screen. Samsung is working heavily on this technology as we know, and it's just not going to be ready for the S21 series. Also cost restraints and their ability to produce in big numbers means that the Fold 3 is actually a really good candidate for that technology. Not only that technology, but it looks like the Z Fold 3 is going to also support the S Pen. This is obviously a must for Samsung. It looks like there's gonna be no Note phones next year at all. So a Fold obviously has to have S Pen support. So there aren't any compromises in that phone when it comes to replacing the Note series. The Z Fold 3, of course, having the Snapdragon 875 processor and probably the camera system from the S21 Plus. It's an absolutely incredible phone. And we know from Max Weinbach that there should be a Z Fold FE or a Z Fold Lite, whatever Samsung are gonna call it. This should be a cheaper version of the Z Fold 3. And then having two new Z Folds would make a ton of sense why they would get rid of the Note series altogether. When it comes to the new version of the Z Flip, this apparently won't be launching with the S21 series, but a little bit later. This also makes a ton of sense for a few reasons. Samsung maybe needs some extra time to perfect a new design in that phone because it's just the second generation. Also, it really does look like Samsung want to differentiate their foldable devices from the normal smartphone devices. The Note series possibly just being scrapped altogether. The S21 series definitely coming earlier, as early as January. So it makes sense to have a January launch for the S series, a Z Flip in spring, and then summer or autumn to have the Fold devices. Looking at the S21 phones, here are all the specs for you, what we know right now. So a 6.2 inch display on that S21, the plus moving all the way up to a 6.7 inch display, a bigger battery on that one, but the same camera system moving up to the S21 Ultra, that curved display, a higher class screen overall in terms of the specs, a really amazing camera system on that one, and a huge, huge battery, but the price to go with it as well. For right now, leakers suggesting that the middle of January is the launch for these phones, so we'll wait and see. Please let me know in the comments which one of the S21 phones you are looking forward to the most and thinking of getting, if any. That's it for this one, though. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.